Trinity is three in one. Welcome to Strength for Today. That's what I'm going to talk about today. This is Monday, February the 11th, 2013. The Trinity is three in one. Three separate beings, yet one. We talked about yesterday the God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit working in our lives together. But folks, we, we can't understand the Trinity. Many use the egg as a picture of the Trinity, the shell, the yolk, and the center. But it's really not the best one in the world. The best one in the world, I wish I had one with me. I thought I had a book with me here. I do. Is a book. A book's your best example because it has height, width, and depth. If you take any of these away, if you take the, the depth, it's a piece of paper. If you take the height, it becomes a ruler. If you take the length, it just becomes a, a bookmarker, and it's no longer a book. So if you take any away, it's no longer the same. If you take away God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, they're no longer God. And that's the best way to describe this trinity. They're three separate beings, but they're all necessary to be one, just like a book. And I like that example. God the Father created the plan of salvation. God the Son carried out the plan of salvation on the cross. And God the Holy Spirit calls it and carries it on today uh, through the church, through us living within us. John 10, 30 says, I and my Father are one. John 15, 26 says, But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send from the Father, even the Spirit of truth which proceeded from the Father, he shall testify of me. So he's our link to heaven. Since there are three parts in the Trinity, you know that you have to have communication with each other. Jesus may times pray to the Father. Jesus sent the Son or the Holy Spirit, so he had to tell him to come. So God the Father and the God the Holy Spirit, they talked together. Jesus prayed to the Father. So God the Father and the Holy Spirit worked together, and they worked together in creation as well as the Son the, to communicate and create the world, Genesis 1.1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, let there be light, there was light. So the definition of prayer is talking to God. So if they, if, they, uh, if they talk, Jesus talked to the Father, that's prayer. If the Holy Spirit talks to the Father or Jesus, that's prayer. If the Father talks to Jesus or the Holy Spirit, that's prayer. So for those of you who think people who talk to themselves are crazy, you better think again because God talks to himself. Think about them apples. And so it's not wrong to understand that God prays for us and that the blood of Jesus Christ was shed so that we could be together forever. Families should do everything together and most of all pray together. If God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit pray, we need to pray too. So let's remember that as we pray today and let's let that be our strength for today and our hope for today.